I, I, I found MIC in 2020, uh, June. Best decision of my life so far. And I've been uh, an MIC member for a year. Cool. So the best cool. decision of my life. Hey. That's awesome, man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I like to shot on top and call out a breakout. Nice. So. <laughs> so we all, Where are you man? from? Uh, I'm, from I'm from Vietnam. Nice. Yeah, Vietnam originally. No. I swim over here. Give him the whole backpack. I'm just kidding. We all been through uh, dark times, and uh, I can relay a lot to that. Uh, and thank you, thank you guys. So I'm extremely shy, so for me to come up here right now, I just need to this is good, do it man. now. This is good. Yeah. Yeah. The back. Uh, I, uh, I I actually used to help run the National Space Defense Center. I uh, I actually uh, I left the government after 22 years because I fell in love with trading, and I I really can't thank all of you enough because the comments that you have on the website. And after joining MIC, I found my passion after doing defense for so long. I never thought that I'd be going in this direction. You guys have really made a big impact on my life and my kids' life. I even brought my daughter here. She, she knows what uh, her, her favorite low-hanging fruit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a good way to start. Yeah. You know, I just really feel like this is a family. And for me to come all the way out here like this, I hope that speaks volume because um, everyone here means a lot to me and my family. And thanks to Bao and Alex, it's just uh, been a journey. I'm like the traveling moderator, right? Like I travel all around Europe, uh, Middle East. I haven't been home. This is my first time in California, you know, a little over two years. Um, I love traveling because I could meet different people, learn about different cultures, share, you know, experiences with people. I love history. I love to learn about their countries and, and things to do there. And uh, MIC has gave me access to be able to do that. About three years ago, I quit my full-time job and I just started trading two and a half years ago or so. And I just started traveling. I just had a couple of years saved up and I just left. And, um, you know, without MIC, I mean, I probably could have made a good run for a year or so, but I would have had to come back and get back to work. So now, uh, bank account's good. I'm at least out here another couple of years traveling. I mean, so I go to a country, I don't know anything about the country. And then next thing you know, I've got a local member like showing me, you know, everything about his country. And we're hanging out, having drinks, having dinner. So like for me, it's really about uh, being able to be social, get to know people, learn about their cultures and share with them and really connecting different countries and connecting the world. And we do that through trading. Trading to me is just like a tool to be able to follow my passion. And MIC is the way to get there. And without Val, Alex and Fox, I mean, I'd probably be still working on nine to five. So I would say be patient, uh, stick with MIC. If you're not there yet, give it time. Don't worry about the profits, just worry about trading well and you'll get there eventually. Before I started trading, you know, I don't even know where to start, but they give you a path. You want to be long, you want to be short, and, and you see the different traders in the different stages of their lives. Maybe they've, they've, they've gone through things that you've already went through. They're going through things that you have gone through, but usually it's the other way around. And you see all the different traders in their path, see the path, you know what I mean? Like I'm, MIC gives you that roadmap to success, really. You know, I, I, I was long, joined MIC, then I was short. Once I learned how to short, I was even better long, so now I'm long. And it's all because of MIC. Just to give you a background, I've been a data analyst, a financial analyst, data quality for Fortune 500 companies for the last maybe 18, 20 years. I wasn't really happy working for a company, so I wanted to branch out on my own and make money, and it was really difficult. I was into data, it was very hard to read the charts. So uh, I was watching Bao's videos, Alex's videos, a lot of free good content. I learned a lot from that. And now I joined MIC about two months ago. I learned from everyone I can, but uh, MIC definitely solid. And I learned it after being in trading for several years. So I could distinguish the real deal versus not so much real. And definitely MIC is the real deal. What I realized for me what works is that until I become a good trader, I don't consider myself a good trader, although I don't lose much. Uh, I decided to have a side income, uh, which was hard for me to do. So I lowered my bills. I paid off all my credit cards, everything, paid off my cars, everything. And that's my way of staying afloat. I don't need to make much money to be successful. And if I prove that over time, that I can be consistent. So I just wanted to share my experience. I was just put on the spot. I as a <laughs> Paris, <laughs> Thank you. I started MIC like two months ago. I discovered the whole deal through Alex on his YouTube videos. They were very helpful. Thank you so much. I have joined like over five chat rooms. And when I joined these guys, um, it just clicked the first time when I heard the low hanging fruits, go get a job, 
you have to cancel the emotional factor before you can be a sustainable trader because oftentimes I will see the setup there but I can't press the button. I don't I don't want to lose money. We want to cancel the uh, the emotional factor first. I would consider the education to be like 30% max with a practice you would get better but 70% at least will be emotional. Yeah, because if I trade with a, with one share I mean, I can keep adding till 100 bucks with no panicking. But I have done that on a stock called uh, ACY, if you guys remember. It skipped on me all the way to 28. I ended up cutting on the top. It, it skipped to 38. And then they, they, like, it was T12 or something. And then resumed at 16 bucks. That was a big lesson. So not add to losers. Don't fight the trend. Focus on the low hanging fruit. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. I check the watch list every day, of course. But the thing that I do is I make my own watch list beforehand. Hell yeah. Before I, and Alex posts it before anything. I already have my lines, my stock selection, anything. Then when Alex posts his watch list, I will use that to confirm mine or to learn what he is doing differently. So instead of just waking up at nine and you know, playing off of Alex's watch list, because then you're not learning to fight for yourself. You're not learning to trade for yourself. So instead, make your own watch list, then later, learn off of what Alex is saying and Alex's watch list because that way you become dependent upon him if you do that. You don't want to be dependent upon anybody. Even though they make it easy, you don't want to do that. So that's just a trick that I have learned to do is make your own before you ever look at Alex's to know whether or not you're really doing it right yourself. I came from Puerto Rico four years ago. I didn't, I'm didn't. i not going to say I lost everything. But the house, I can show you pictures where I used to live. And I, I came here with nothing. I had $25,000 in my bank account and we started from zero and from there we started building up, building up, building up, building up until COVID started. Then I, I started day trading full time, but it was a negotiation, a, a really intense negotiation with her because she didn't want me to day trade full time. But I, I've been busting my balls for a year and a half, working, 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 working. So I have so much, like I have enough money in order to trade and be sustainable if you trade and you need $200 and you trade with those $200 and at the end of that month, if you lose that $200, you can't pay your car, you're emotionally attached to that money. So you should not be trading that money. You should build a bank account. It's doable, it's doable. I'm, I'm, I'm proof of that. So I came from zero. Like I told you, $25,000, six, I, I, six months before I get my my first job. And then I started grinding, 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 grinding until the point I, I am right now. It's a matter of how you see it. And I'm grateful every day. I'm, when I joined the community, I've never been in another uh, trading community. I've, I've known like a lot of stories of people that have gone three, four. I'm grateful that this was the first community I, I, I came in. The, the fact of the word community, to me is so important, man, because community is like family. Like you're building something together. So that's why I'm in love with them, with, with these guys, because it's not bullshit what they teach. Thank you for wearing your grown up boy pants. <laughs> <laughs> so nice to meet you, Alex. I'm glad you're plenty warm from New Jersey and yeah. we can find somebody to help you cut the price tag off your shoe there. <laughs> Thank you so much, Stephen, for coming all the way. It's so nice to meet you. And oh, this one, host? he's so much fun. The first time I had a conversation with him on the phone, he calls me, I answer, he hangs up. Uh, I call him back. What? I call him oh, back. I remember this. I call him back and he says, I says, I think you're trying to call me. He goes, oh, you're a girl. <laughs> I go, yeah, that's how I checked him up. So I'm going to stop. I know what's you. Your, oh my gosh, what a fun talk. Yeah. Yep. What's your username on? A dead co-host. Deb, we had a 30 minute talk, didn't we? we? Did. we you were so talk. much fun. We I, had a good time. I remember that. <laughs> yeah. I, it was so, recent. It was like two months ago. It was. Oh my God. I am having so much fun. I kind of stay low because I haven't been real busy yet. I got uh, a little bit of a disaster from a prior program I'm trying to work my way out of. Mm. Okay. <laughs> a little bit too much uh, credit spread creep on the uh, rollovers. But oh. anyway, we're getting through that. And I'm looking forward to, I, I'm paper trading this after I get through trading my real shit in the morning. The one thing I haven't heard people talking about here, which I have for the stock trading business is you've got to have it in your gut, the love of the market and the love Passion. of the learning and the challenges yeah, that it gets sure. you. And there's so many different ways that you can attack this. You can do options and little options. You can do short, you can do long, you can do small cap, you can do large cap, all of this. 
and it's all a huge mountain of learning. And I don't know about all of you, but I love that learning. Yep, yep, and if yeah. you so don't have that fire in your yep. belly, if you're just doing it to make money, yep. uh, go find the bus and go look for a girl. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I have to say. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.